All right, baby, where are we at right now? We're at Disney. Second <laughs> day here. I want to go home so bad. Karen was just here literally last night with her parents for her dad's birthday, and then we came again. Disney for today was already planned for like two weeks. Yeah, and then I brought my parents because my dad loves Disney, and I wanted to bring him for his birthday, but let me tell you something about my dad. That man has arthritis, and he doesn't care how much pain he's in. He will spend the entire day at Disney. He wants to be here as soon as they open to when they close. So you guys can already imagine. Like my calves are hurting. I have a blister on my pinky. But you know what? Today we're here for different vibes. I have buzz balls right here. All these buzz balls. And I got Pringles. If you haven't seen this hat, where you been? And I got no glue. And we're not going to throw the food away. So I got some zip off bags. <laughs> so for those of you who are curious on what she's about to do, she's going to take all the chips out of the f***ing jar. Or did you already? No, not yet. And we're going to shove the buzz balls inside the thing. Because okay. Disney doesn't let you take the drinks inside. They have to fit. They have nah, to. I don't think it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. What's gonna be on the top? <laughs> Bro, it's so crazy how like I've seen this all over TikTok and seen it like just get done is crazy. Sheesh, Adam, you look good as hell in that shirt. Oh, I got this at um. Right. At Nordstrom. It's, That's it's right. a, at Nordstrom? <laughs> he got it at the Cayo bro. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is that a Michael friend? I'm like, this is Versace's um, new uh, uh, runway show. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys, so we finally made it into Disneyland and uh, we were able to sneak in the Pringles. Success. <laughs> now I have to go buy some. Damn, we bought them out, pussy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna go buy me some ears. I wanna buy some pink ones or some blue ones to match my Hello Kitty vapes. And I used to see it, bro. Oh, you want to around? That shit. How you feeling? Bro, so we made it to Disney. Shots to the workers here. You guys didn't know. They hooked it up. Bro, literally brought all of us in. And I just love you guys. Fuck, this is fucking <laughs> Brian literally hit, hit us up randomly. He was like, hey, bro, are you trying to go to Disney? Because I miss you guys. And I was yeah. like, I don't miss you, but I'm trying to go to Disney. <laughs> yeah, all my other friends were busy. So I was like, you know what, Eddie? Just pull up. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? You want it? Oh, no way. For real? All right, you guys. So we've been in Disneyland for like, how long? 15, 20 minutes? It is hot as out here. Um, I already called my Uber to pick me up because <laughs> I cannot do it. Hey, 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 ah, ah, ah. hey. No days off. No days off. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we go, Karen needs a f***ing bag of chips. No way. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's going to be the hard part, taking it out. What do you think that shit through? I got you, watch. <laughs> got one out. Damn. That's one out of the four we have to get out. Oh, yeah. Instead of Toontown, then turn to Poundtown. <laughs> 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 I need more than you. All right, let's get some content in for the Cade channel. What do you, what do you have to say to these these We're hoes? Out here, you know, living, <laughs> Literally, yeah. What about you, Luca? Because I've seen guys like. She be finished with my sentence. Babe, go ahead. <laughs> she be finishing my sentence. Wait, what? what do you guys got to say for the K channel? So far. What do you have to say, Miss Karen Mendoza? I, say that I got everybody to pay for their little jiggy pads so you can get on Ride of the Resistance. If you guys never been on the ride, get on it, pay for it because it's worth it. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I've never been on this ride. <laughs> that is so <laughs> 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 I'm not even out here with Karen. I'm out here with this motherfucker. Hey, you know what? I was the uh, odd one out. Shout out to Eddie for being a real one to stay with me. <laughs> Damn, look at the fucking hair though. This is crazy. All right, that was my first time on that ride. That shit was a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. You I went on it yesterday, it. huh? I went on it yesterday, but I went on it today like, I don't remember anything. <laughs> nah, that shit was real cool. Honestly, when it like dropped, it my first fucking first ass went to my heart. Oh, wait. How? I'll take that, huh? <laughs> your heart felt through your ass? I mean, either or, but <laughs> I feel like both of them. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> oh, 
Sorry, I don't know how to pull out. Cheers, cheers. cheers. today's video what are we doing today my back today we're doing something different lady all our content has literally been vlogging drinking 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 we're vlogging kids and yet a vlog we haven't had a video just like this where we've just set the camera in a long 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 time so i'm actually time. excited to do it but today we're gonna be doing a cooking video in our new kitchen so due to popular demand, a lot of you guys have been telling us to do a cooking video, do a cooking video, a cooking video, a cooking video. So why not do the cooking video and explain to y'all how we lost our 9 to 5 jobs? Because I didn't lose it. I got fired. So yeah, for those who, who keep asking, like, do you still work your 9 to 5 job? If you guys have been a long time, like, follower, we were doing both things, media and working full time. And let me tell y'all, that was not that shit was stressful as hell. We were going through it a lot for the past like three years, just trying to work as hard as we can to get to the point where we're at today. But short answer, no, we no longer work our nine to five jobs. We're gonna explain that to you while we're cooking pinche tinga. Yes, yeah, so like Eddie said, we're gonna be making tinga today. And another reason why we haven't cooked is because our kitchen was ratchet as fuck. Let me start there, it was falling apart. Now we got stainless steel. Hey, hey, hey. So now I'm not embarrassed to cook because literally the other cocina had like a whole f***ing caracha like running around. <laughs> and I smell so, like roaches in here, nothing anymore. So literally, so now we're so excited to cook and I don't really know how to cook like that. Yeah, you do. I do, but like not that much. I, I feel know. like you got a lot better at cooking. Because when we first moved in, you was on some bullshit. But now you're cool, you're cool. You're doing your shit now. <laughs> All right, guys, so we had already tried to film this video, like the intro, but we messed up, but you guys didn't see it because we deleted it. We already opened this bottle of wine. We already actually chugged a full glass because no one told us to. I don't know why we did that. <laughs> we chugged a full glass in the first clip because um, we're just being stupid, but we feel awkward filming like this. Like, it's been a long time since we set the camera up and just like... I, not, I got used to somebody else recording me, like that, following me and recording me. Like, that and we got used to like vlogging and taking the camera with us because we go out, we've been going out. We've been everywhere lately. And we don't want to elongate the intro of this video because yeah, really, you guys okay. probably at home like shut the fuck up and hurry up. But today, like I said, we're making tinga. I'm going to show you guys what we're using. We're going to use... I'm going to just slide it to you. Okay. Right? We're going to use queso fresco for the topping. Uh, we're going to use this um, Corona extra pepper that I stole from a restaurant called Coaches. What? You going to have to... Come on. What? How many times have I told you not to break my tostada? I'm sorry. Bro, we went to the store and I kept telling this man, don't break the tostada. I don't do no purpose. What that? He was literally like, <laughs> the whole time, he literally threw them in the trunk like this. Boom. And then on top of it, he throws another big box in there, which was like waters. And I'm like, oh, we're going to have powdered tostadas because there's nothing else in here. I got to slide it. Three, two, one. We have the chicken for the tinga, of course. <laughs> we have garlic powder. We have onion powder. We have caldo de pollo. We have caldo de pollo, and for those who know, it's chicken bouillon. We have crema. This is my favorite one. This is crema mexicana. We have the babe. We have the star of the show, which is the chipotle sauce. We have, what is this? I don't think that. <laughs> we have lettuce. Some tomatoes and some onions and some garlic cloves. This is everything that I think that this is what we need to make the, the thing up. And when you guys are watching, don't expect me to give you like the exact measurements or anything because I don't know, we're figuring it out together, okay? We're gonna go by tasting because again, I'm not the best at cooking and I don't like following instructions, so. But what makes it better if it doesn't taste good? Uh, 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 I know this one. Um, Valentina, Tapatio, 
and um, chili peppers or jalapenos or anything that has a spice to it. We'll make anything, any mistake taste better. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the cooking and then we're gonna go ahead and start explaining to you chismosos who want to know, who keep asking why we got fired from the job. We're gonna let you guys know here. So Nosy stay tuned. Ass and if you guys make this and you guys wanna tag us, tag us. But if it tastes like shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's your big ass wine glass. You gave me this one, trying to let me out of what? You didn't tell them why we're wearing a cowboy hat. Oh, shit. so for those of you who are wondering why we're wearing cowboy hats, I forgot to. I actually did tell you guys, but in the clip that we're not gonna use, we couldn't find chef costume, chef hat, chef aprons. We couldn't find them bitches anywhere. We didn't get them on Amazon. We didn't find them at Party City. We didn't. We couldn't find them anywhere. So instead of wearing the chef hats, we're just gonna wear the cowboy hats to um just. Can you just pretend? Pretend. Literally, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera back just a little bit. We're gonna wash your hands because um, I know a lot of you guys will be scratching your ass throughout the day. You might have caquita under the nail bed. Make sure you wash your chicken because mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Everybody just says to wash your chicken, so wash your chicken. Because then we're gonna get what is that thing called? Salmonella or whatever. <laughs> Salmonella? <laughs> what is it called? Salmonella? Salmonella. You made a salsa yesterday for my family and her family, and that shit was fire. I was like, damn. What'd you learn? Who else should be cooking for? My, the man that asked me to yeah, marry him. Apparently, because you never made no salsa like that for me. That shit was fire. Because my man. What the f you learning? My other man. What'd you learn? My other man. How many times I gotta say it? My other man. Are you serious? What'd you learn? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> I'm struggling. Oh, shit. You need help? And Baby, I wanna drink. What are you doing? Show them what you're doing. I'm trying to get water. <laughs> Let me get you a cup. Well, can we just use the sink water? Doesn't boiling the water kill like I don't bacteria? want to use the sink water. I'm bougie now. Back then, I would use the sink water. Now, I don't need sink water. We're using sink water in this moment. Right? No! The heat kills any bacteria in the use water. Use the water over there. You really using it already? I'm already using it. All right, guys. Wait, I'm not going to waste no precious drinking water to boil some chicken. You don't even use, you don't even cook. All right, but even if Since I did, I wouldn't use the water. we've lived here, Eddie's cooked twice. And our old apartment, he probably cooked like five times. Ooh. Five times, Gordo. You got to take it back. You That's a lot. That's a lot. I can, I can tell you exactly what you cooked. How many times did I make steak or burgers twice. or carne asada? You made it twice and twice. And so you're telling me when you were recovering from your hepatitis or your... Bitch? <laughs> what the <laughs> Your appendicitis. When you were suffering from your appendicitis and then you had to get surgery. You had a suchingada, madre. You f***ing like, you don't have to fade me, for real. Well, then what's up? Because <laughs> you didn't cook. Take the pot, take that pot and go all the way over there and show them what's in there. We got chicken. <laughs> Alright guys, so, we're gonna let that chicken boil. But I'm gonna get a cebolla and I'm gonna add a little bit of that cebolla to the boiling water. While she's doing that, I'm gonna pour up some more wine. And remember to always take that. Oh, remember, I'm not good at this. But you were supposed to take that piece off at the top because, you know, that's like the ugly part. And we're gonna put these little uh, best of cebolla inside the water. And we're gonna get a, a garlic clove, like one or two or three or four, whichever ones get silent. And then we're gonna break them. Mm. Mm. And we're gonna peel them and then we're gonna put them also in the concussion over here. Or how do you say that? Concussion or Conjunct conju conjunctivitis? <laughs> what is the word? It's not concussion. What is um, it? Ca concussion. <laughs> I don't even know how to concussion? say it. I don't know. Concoction. Concussion. Concoction. Concoction. That's how you say it. Concoction. And the concoction. And the concoction. Whatever. And then we're gonna get our chicken bouillon. Right. We're just gonna sprinkle. Remember, remember, I'm new to this. I don't know. I'm just gonna put like, like maybe that much in there. Oh, that's a lot. We're gonna get high cholesterol. Like a little bit, and then I'm gonna pour it in there as well. You guys, comment down below. Also, like, if you just moved out and you didn't know how to cook, or you still don't know how to cook, how hard is it? Is that shit like really hard for you? Because I feel like it was hard for us. Um, we didn't know like what to cook, or we would try cooking some things, and sometimes, at least speaking for myself, that shit would come out terrible. But okay, guys, we're gonna shut up. We're gonna start talking about why we got fired from our job. Yeah, for real. We, wow. we haven't even been talking about it. Eddie cuts the onion. I bought him this onion board. Again, no, we no longer work at our nine to five job. We no longer work the full time, full time job life. Um, reason for that being is we got fired. 
So for those of you who don't know and you're new here, we did have full-time jobs and we were working in the medical field. We weren't nurses. We say it all the time. We were not nurses. We were uh, CMAs, certified medical assistants. We worked in the same place. We didn't work together in the same department, but we, we did work in the same place for the same people. We both worked for LA County and we both um, <coughs> worked in urgent care and I worked in internal medicine. We worked there for a while. We did go to school to get these jobs. And it was a good experience until we started being more involved into social media that we were start calling out a lot, we started missing a lot, we started to do, um, we started going and being more like late and stuff because girl, let me tell y'all, we would go to these events and we'll get home at like five in the morning, just shower and go right to work. Or even when we would drop merch, there's, there was a time where we dropped merch and we were staying up the we stayed up the entire night and then Karen still went to work that morning. Yep. That was just kind of like a little bit of what our life was like doing media and, and uh, working full time. Media is something that we always, always tried to do and it's something that we always wanted to do. If you guys look way back on this channel, it goes back to like 2016, 2017 or 2018. I'm sorry, 2017, 2018. And uh, it was just something that we've always tried to do and we just kind of like manifested everything that we said we were gonna do and we said what was gonna happen. He manifested, but I prayed. I don't know if that's the same thing, but we both basically wanted to be full-time concentrated. And that was the goal. And then when we got this job, it was just like, I was trying to go back to school to do nursing and media was just like, it just started doing good. And I was like, maybe we can really do this. Maybe we can really like, because we, we kind of started losing hope, remember? Yeah. We were like, yeah, this is not gonna work out. Like this is not working out, so. We kind of just like stopped doing it and then we uh, TikTok came along and we started doing like little dumb TikTok and I was like, maybe we can really do this. Like it's working. We ended up like taking media really, really serious. We moved in together. That was one of the big reasons we moved in together. Like, so. So it wasn't because you love me? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to be on right, camera, but on. we just felt like it would be easier to do media too. So I'm going to go ahead and boil five tomatoes and three garlic cloves because I'm going to end up boiling them to make the sauce. Of course, me and Karen wanted to live together, but um, another big reason was for us to do media, like, easier. Because we weren't living together when we started, so moving in would have just made a lot of things, a lot more things easier. taking media super serious we took it as a whole nother full-time job on yeah. then we started going to these events and then dropping merch and then staying up all nights doing all-nighters editing we, we were we ended up like calling out of work a lot like when i started there i would never call out i wouldn't call out and then when we started taking media serious i started calling out like hella me and karen huh i'm talking about like it got to the point where i started calling out like almost twice a week it was taking a huge toll on our mental health it really was. It really, really was because I was always tired while still trying to make time for my man and still trying to make time for my family and my friends because my parents would literally be like, you don't have time for us anymore. My mom was saying that a lot too. You never come over. And I'm like, bro, I'm trying to like, I literally have two full-time jobs. Like it's literally pulling a toll on us. And then we started arguing a lot. Yeah, me and Karen would kind of like get into it because we were always like stressed out or tired about something. So we'd always like kind of snap on each other. Right, but because a big part of that was that we were working two full-time jobs while still needing to wash clothes, clean the house. Just clean live dishes. like an adult. Cook. She was hard. Bro, it was hard. It got to a point where every day we started eating out. Like, we started eating out all the time. Where I didn't even crave nothing from the street. Like, he'd be like, what do you want? I'm like, I'm over eating all this food. Like, I want a home-cooked meal. But there was never time, yeah. all right? We were literally grinding all the time. Like, we didn't even have time to cook, and we would eat out hella. When I started my job, I would go to work all bonita. Like, I'll do my hair. I'll comb my hair. I'll do my makeup. I'll pick out my outfits, try to look cute. Towards the end, when we were already like letting like, I was like, oh, I can't do this anymore. No makeup, hair was dirty. I, I mean, I showered and stuff, but I was not, like I felt like I didn't look presentable because there was just no time. Like I was always tired. My coworkers would always be like, hey, are you gonna call out on this day? Because I'm not gonna be <laughs> here, so I just need to make sure if you are so that I can make sure that I have like yeah, your stuff crazy. ready for that day. And I'd be like, yeah, I'm not gonna be here, girl, I have an event. And they'd be like, okay, for sure. My coworkers are like, love them to death they supported me the whole time like they all rooted for me i said this bitch name fuck you um they all rooted for me so every time i needed a call out like they knew like they were like okay yeah girl, go 
go chase your dreams because we believe in you type of vibes, you know? We were calling out a lot and we were um, late all the time, but that wasn't the main reason why we got fired because they knew that we were doing that for a while. The main reason why we got fired was because, you won't tell them, I'm gonna tell them. It was because this motherfucker got in a fist fight with a doctor. I got fired mainly because of my attendance. This motherfucker threw down with a doctor. Okay, let me tell y'all. So, me, I was working, boom. My manager called, hey, can you come work at Eddie, where Eddie works, you know, that clinic. Not his clinic specifically, but that building. I was like, yeah, of course I can cover in women's clinic. Boom, I go to women's clinic, I have this altercation with this doctor because she was trying to run me. And I'm like, bro, you forget that I don't work for you, I work with you guys, right? So we had a whole argument and I didn't like how she was talking to me. So I was like, all right, then I'm gonna start arguing back to you. So I was arguing back in front of everybody in the clinic. Literally the patients were like recording vibes. I was just so mad. And this doctor literally throws her prescription pad at me like so bad that I got so mad. I grabbed that shit, threw back at her and we started fighting. Bro, I beat that bitch's ass so bad, so bad, that literally the security had to come up and somehow Eddie got told that I was upstairs fighting that he runs upstairs, scrubs and everything. And he's like, what happened? And I'm like, that bitch right there was fucking throwing her prescription pad at me. Like I work for her when I work with her. And guess who started talking shit? I was like, why you throwing prescription pads? <laughs> I was like, why you throwing prescription pads on my bitch? I was like, what's up? You can run it with me too, mother And then yeah, we were just both throwing down with doctors and shit. Yeah. You made that story sound so believable. <laughs> that just sounded believable as fuck. Can we tell her we're bullshitting? We're just kidding, guys. We are completely bullshitting. Like, we did not get fired from work. We've been saying on our lives on TikTok and everything that we got fired. We did not get fired, guys. We, did, we didn't get fired at all. We literally, well, I... Decided to put my two weeks in. Wait, are you done with the sobeita? Yeah. Okay, put it in right here, baby. Put it in right here. For a long time, I was telling Eddie, like, we should quit our job because we honestly... No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I didn't even realize I did that. No, you didn't. I didn't even realize I did that right now. Hold on, which one was it? I don't know. I think it was this one. So, for a while, for a long time, actually, I would tell Eddie, like, hey, let's quit our jobs. Like, we were so blessed and still are so blessed that I was like, we don't need the jobs. We don't need them. Like, we really like, can survive off living off of our content Yeah, creation. so there was, there was hella times where Karen was like, let's just do media full time. Let's Dude. just do media. We are supposed to start doing media full time a year ago. Yes. A year ago. And I, I was scary. I was a scary one. Karen was like, let's just do it. Come on, like. We're not gonna get nowhere doing this, both jobs or doing both things stressed out. We can't live like this forever. Because we were growing a lot on social media, but we we never were able to get to where we wanted to because we had two jobs. We were focusing our whole time mostly at our jobs. I would tell him like, bro, those whole eight hours that we're at work, we can be doing something more productive with our social media and do it better. And then he was just like, oh, but I'm scared. I'm like, scared of what? Like, what are you so scared of? In it's my just, head, I would tell him like, bro, we don't have any kids. Worst case scenario, social media doesn't work out for us. Boom, we go back to our parents' house. We start going back to school. We get our nursing and we start life again all over. We're still young. But this man was stressing like we had 10 kids at home. But it wasn't like, you swear like you weren't like, at some points you were like, fuck. I'm scared too. But no, I, I was always confident with myself. I've always believed in myself. The reason why I would get scared was because you would put things in my head like, babe, well, you never know. Like, what if this and that? Like, who's going to pay for health insurance? I don't give a fuck about that's, health insurance. That's what I was worried about most of the time was because we had insurance through our job. Um, so that was like, fuck, if we, if we like quit, we're not going to have any more insurance. I mean, mind you, I'm not 26 yet. You're 27. So what the hell? Like, yeah. I'm not 27. <laughs> no, but yeah, that was the main thing I was worried about with insurance. But our whole goal this whole time was to do media full time and do actually do this shit. Cause that's what we have always talked about. And this was like, as corny as it sounds, it was really our dream job. It's really yeah. what we've always tried to do. You can ask any of our family, any any of our friends. We have always tried doing videos. We have always been like trying to vlog and do YouTube, like. Ask anybody that's around us and they can they can vouch for us. We've always tried doing this and then we finally reached the point where we're like, fuck, we can do that shit full, like we can do it full time. I always wanted to quit and the reason why I wouldn't quit was because Eddie was holding me back. Like, I was I'm, scared. I was, I'm being real. It's, so, like, it's scared, it was a huge... Like it was scary, I, I do believe him, but my mindset was like, bro, like... It's just a leap. 
It, my mindset was like, if I fail, that's fine. I'll make sure I get myself right back where I started. I always told myself that. And that's why I wasn't scared because I knew that I didn't have big responsibilities as far as like having kids or have somebody else to take care of. Like I knew that if I fell, now like I'll get myself back up. I'll start over again. But he was so scared. But one day I was like, fucking tired of this shit. I never sleep. I'm fat as fuck. I'm chunky. Like I'm pimply. I'm stressed out. Like I can't do two jobs. I'm tired of doing my makeup at my lunchtime instead of eating. I'm doing my makeup instead of like, you know, I was so over that shit that I just one day I just thought, I'm like, you know what, babe? I'm done. I'm putting my two weeks in Monday. He was like, ha ha ha, yeah, like, okay. Whatever. It's because we kept saying we were going to do it for so long and we just never did it. I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, I'm going to do it. And if you want to do it, you can do it. But if you don't want to do it, then I, okay. I'm gonna do it because I believe in myself and I believe that we can do so much with this. There was a point where I was like, you know what? Just fuck it, do it. I said, fuck it, just do it. Just put your two weeks in. And when she really put her two weeks in, I was like, fuck. <laughs> she really put her two weeks in. I and I was like, all right, so let's let's do let's do you first and then we'll see how we go. And then I'll put my two weeks in. She agreed with it and she was like, okay. After she put her two weeks in, she was like, how the fuck how the fuck is that gonna make sense? How am I gonna put my two weeks in and you're still gonna be working? We're still gonna be going through the same like same thing. I'm gonna have to wait for you to get out of work and this and that. And I'm like, ah. You're right. So I ended up putting my two weeks in. I'm literally what, three months? Yeah. This was all three months ago, guys. We're yeah. we're literally three months into not working anymore. But let me tell y'all, the day that I was gonna put my two weeks in, I was so nervous just because like, you know, like you do how you do end up getting those thoughts of like, oh, okay, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> You do be getting those thoughts that like, what if, like, you know, it doesn't work out. But bro, I went to work that day and I was like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Not just kidding. I love my coworkers. Yeah, we've always talked about quitting our jobs. We hit a point where we were just like, fuck it. And it's literally a leap of faith. Yeah. But if you really if you really want to do something with your life that you want to do, if you want to chase your dreams and do it, those are the leap of faiths that you have to take. And there were so many conversations I was having with people about like, like fuck bro, I really want to do media. They would always tell me the same shit. Bro, just take the leap. Just quit your job. Take but the leap. It's a leap of faith. Like There was also people who would be like, are you sure? Like, yeah, there why were don't you a lot go of... back to nerd? Like a lot of, because I was cool with a lot of doctors and a lot of people and they all knew what I was doing. But all the time I would tell them, like, yeah, I'm going to quit. They're like, you don't want to go for your nursing? I'm like, no, I don't. Because I believe that one day I'm going to be making more money that than what a nursing job would provide for me. You understand what I'm saying? So once I put my two weeks, I literally texted Eddie and I was like, I put my two weeks in. Do you remember? My heart dropped when she sent the message and I was like, fuck, all right, we're really doing this shit. Yeah, and then it was just me. It was just me. I told his mom because his mom and his sister work where we work too. I was like, hey, I put my two weeks in. And I told my parents and everybody was just proud of me. So I felt really good. And then I was like, hey, babe, like I put my two weeks in. And like, if you still want to quit with me, like you're good. Like, trust me, like have trust in us. Like we're going to be good. And I think a, literally a week later, he put his two weeks in because he was like, hey, can you forward me that letter? I'm just going to change it with my name. I was like, oh, I got you. I literally typed his two weeks in, I forwarded to him and he sent it to the boss. And we wouldn't even have gotten to that point if it all wasn't for you motherfuckers. Like literally, you guys got us to this point where we're at in media. Like, I'm like, we, the chickens all burn. Oh, for real? <laughs> we are for sure not where we want to be yet, but because of you guys, we're thousand times closer to where we we want to get. Like right now, I feel like we're, we're like, Dude, we're, like, I don't even know what to say right now. I get so emotional because I feel like living in this you know, apartment hasn't really hit me, but I feel like this year has really been our year. Like we were able to quit our jobs and we were able to move out to somewhere so much nicer. And I feel like we've been doing a lot of the things that we've been wanting to say that we've always wanted to do. We've been yeah. hanging out with people who we've always wanted to meet. I feel like I've been very blessed and I'm so grateful for where I'm at because I literally, we literally started from making videos in my mom's house in my room. In the bedroom, yeah. In we're, the bedroom. I, bro, I'm so grateful and blessed. We're so grateful and blessed to just have you guys watch our videos. Like, we can't believe there's people who just go home and throw a video of us on and just enjoy watching our videos. That shit is crazy to me still. And to even think, I remember the first time that we were like, let's do merch. I would literally tell you like, 
I don't want to do merch because I'm going to be sad if we don't sell anything and then our shirts are being sold at the Swami. Like, you know, I would make that joke like, oh, we're going to have to go to the Swami and try to sell these shirts because no one bought them. And, like, that just shows that, like, you guys are very, like, loyal to us because a lot of you guys really fuck with us. And I'm like, you guys why? Fuck with us so much. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, que llore, que no, llore. For real. You guys, like, majority of the blessings that we've had this year is all because. You guys are literally our guys. blessings. You, you guys, guys are like, blessings. you guys have been going crazy on all the videos. You guys have been going crazy on the merch drops. And we always wanted to do this shit. And now it's fucking oh. happening, bro. That shit's happening. It's happening! Ow! So, the moral of the story is, if you have a dream, follow it. It doesn't matter what stinky hoe ass bitch is telling you not to, you do Fuck it. Fuck that bitch. Fuck that stupid you ass, fake it. ass, big head ass, fat nose ass bitch. Anyway, I'm getting my liquidator now. The tomatoes have fully boiled, and you know when they're ready when they start looking like peely. So I'm gonna throw my tomatoes in my liquidator, because this is what's gonna make the little thing a juice. And then this water, just throw it away. You don't need it. Because we're gonna use, instead of this water, we're gonna use the little water from the caldo. Now, we have our onion and our tomato in there. We're actually gonna cut another bit, bit of uh, onion. We're gonna put this much of onion in there. We're gonna use our main ingredient, the chipotle. Make sure when you get chipotle, it's the one with the, um, the peppers and the sauce. Three, four, Five, six, seven, I'm eight. like, I'm just gonna add the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. Again, I don't know. If it comes out too salty, just throw it away. <laughs> Cause I don't know what to tell you, but we're just gonna put like that much, I guess. That was a lot. That's and then so we're gonna, I wanna put, even though those are good, <coughs> we're gonna still put onion. I like onion now, so I'm gonna put a little bit of onion, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. And then we're gonna put a little bit of garlic because I like garlic now too. I didn't like garlic before. I love garlic now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Damn. Just like that. That's just gonna be salty, no? This isn't having salt. This is the only salt we're using right now. Oh, okay. So now we're gonna wait for the chicken. I'm gonna go check on it real quick. My chicken to make sure it's good is I get two forks and I separate it. And if it, the pissy's not pink, then it's it's fine. What? When you open the chicken, uh -huh. if it's not pink inside, it's good. Oh, okay. I heard pussy. Oh, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that my mom has taught me is to, <coughs> is to never throw away the caldo de pollo, like the actual juice, because that broth has a lot of like flavor and stuff. So we're gonna use that broth to put it in here to make it more juicy. So I'm gonna get like a thasa or something. I just took out a little bit of this, wait, move, move, move so they can see. I just took a little bit of the water from in here, and we're gonna put it in here. Just a little bit, we don't want it too liquidy. That shit smells good as hell. It smells super good. About that much, I don't know if you guys can see, go show them. Go show them how, the, how this looks. And here we got some salsa. That shit looks good. I feel like I can drink this. No? So if your kitchen doesn't look like a mess, are you really cooking? For real, this shit is crazy. So this is the chicken. I don't know how long we made it, uh, we left it on there to boil, but it looks ready. Like you, like I said, if it's not pink from the inside, you gotta worry about nothing. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna have Eddie this manusarlo. He's gonna like take it apart. And then I'm gonna go blend this concussion we have right here to make the sauce. We're gonna record the rest of the video in like vlogging mode. Damn, my hat looks crooked as hell. My bad, it was in a box, but. <laughs> We're gonna film it in vlogging mode because we feel like it's a little more natural to us. We just wanted to put it on there to explain the story. But now we're just, now we're vibing. I feel like I'm really with you guys now. Hey, 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 hey. This is my new blender, by the way. I was gonna get a ninja, but you know, I wanted to be humbled, so. <laughs> what? <Just kidding. laughs> no, this was a good brand too. Why I didn't you get a ninja? Cause that shit was expensive as fuck. Right, I'm like, I don't even be cooking like that. Hold up, I'm gonna get a coaster. <laughs> To match the fridge. <laughs> Hold on. Ready? Ah, shit! Ah! <laughs> Eddie, okay, what did you say you wanted me to record you doing? Can you give me this one, yeah, no, 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 the, the chicken? This one? <laughs> 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 Alright, so let me try it. Let's try it. Do a test that, uh, taste test. Let me see. Hmm. Mm. 
Damn, that, hold up, you ate a whole ass piece. That shit is ass. Funny, cause when I was when I was little, my mom used to be shredding chicken like this, and I used to love going to the bowl and just eating it. But my mom used to do it with her hands. Then why aren't you doing it with your hands? Should I? I don't know, you say you scratch your ass. I do, but you eat it, so. <gasps> what difference would that make? All right guys, so we got a little ollita right here, and we're gonna put some oil in there. Don't mind this right here, because yesterday all our family came. Oh my God, I was so happy. Eddie's whole family and my whole family came, and we were all here together, like literally happiest moment ever. But it looks dirty because we were sauteing some hot links. Yeah, Karen was going crazy in the kitchen yesterday. You were going, you were getting down in the kitchen, baby. Damn, yeah. Your grandma was here, so I was like, Sí, cocino todos los días para su, para su bebé. Le lavo la ropa, el plancho, everything. Karen was getting down. She was making salsa, sliders, fucking tacos. I was like, damn. So, I'm going to go ahead and use this oil. I don't know which oil this is because it doesn't say specifically because... You know, I was trying to be bougie and put it in this oil cabinet thing. But we're gonna put some oil on this pan, just a little bit, just a lot. And then, we're gonna let it get a little hot right there. And you know those little cebollitas that Eddie made? I'm like, let's test it. Does it sound like a sizzling? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put a little bit, because Eddie made a lot. Look, he like, it's gonna be more chicken than, it's gonna be more onion than chicken. So we're gonna put like a little bit in there. And that's said, damn baby, big ass pieces. You think that's enough? I think that's enough onions. No? <laughs> so we're not. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Open your mouth! <laughs> my, I was! All the germs are in there! I, I did cover my mouth. <clears throat> I know how to cook, yeah. I went and got some queso fresco and I started to like um, break it down so that we can put it in our little tostadas. But I'm not gonna lie, I ate like most of it. Mmm! Mmm! You want to try, you want to try No, nah, I'm good. Hurt your bite. I'm good. I'm talking to you. Oh, sorry. All right, guys. Now that your onions look uh, pretty and loose and saggy like your mom's ass, we're going to go ahead Yo. and put the chicken in here, okay? Baby. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's on live right now, too. <laughs> hey, hey. Bro, you had one job. What do you mean? Look at these big ass pieces of chicken. How are we supposed to throw those in there? All right, guys, so now that we have the onion here, we're gonna get this um, chicken, this manusado that Eddie did. Low key, it still looks like a full chicken because- I don't know how to shred chicken that good. There's big pieces in there, but it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and throw it all up on there. Wow, I really feel like I'm doing something. <laughs> and then, once it looks like that, we're gonna go back to this little blender right here. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. Like that, and then we're gonna take the top off, and then we're gonna pour it on there like slowly, like this. Damn, I'm like, maybe not all of it because it might be a lot of juicy. We're gonna eat caldo instead of food. That shit is wet as fuck. Both of you, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> It's almost midnight right now. We've been cooking this since like 9.30. No, we haven't. I feel like we have. We haven't. We started like 15 minutes ago. But guys, this is how it looks. This is how my thing that looks. I'm going to go ahead. It should look cuter, but it doesn't know how to this one side of chicken. So we got chunky chicken right here, okay? <laughs> very juicy, very wet, very slutty. So now, follow me. We're going to get a little Guerrero tostada. You can use any tostadas that you want, honestly. Get our little thing out right here. Mmm, uh, uh. hold on. Can I get chunky ass pieces? Now that your thing is plated on your plate properly with your tostadas like this, you're gonna grab your quesito fresco and you're gonna pour it on top. Like so, look at this look. That looks so, so good already. Just like that. And then we're gonna grab our crema. We're gonna get our crema. I like making a hole. I don't like taking this off because I like making a hole so you can simply just go like this. Look. Period. Right? Our lettuce. So we're gonna put it at the top of it. And then, remember that salsa that he said I made yesterday? We still have some? No. It's right here, my That boy. shit is fire. So we're just gonna mix it a little bit. Karen made the best salsa yesterday ever. This is the salsa I made yesterday. Put some on the top. Just like Jeez. that. See? We're gonna do a taste test. Yeah. All 
Alright you guys, we're gonna end the video right here. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My tostada está aguada. But guys, it was really good. I really like it, 10 out of 10. If you guys um, recreate this, again, I don't know the recipe. I just eat it. But if you guys recreate it, I mean, Dinga's not an odd thing. Everybody makes Dinga. But if you guys make it because you watched our video, please go ahead and tag me. Or if you guys have any tricks on how to make it better or taste better or make it juicier, let me know. All right, we love you guys. The love and support you guys have been giving us has been so fucking crazy and out of this mm -hmm. world. We love it. We love every single one of you who watches our videos. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to watch Karen's Quintinera, last video, link in the bios. It's gonna pop up right here in the end, actually. Yes, and don't forget to comment down below your favorite wine because we definitely wanna start drinking wine that's gonna hit it and taste good at the same time. So yeah. comment down your favorite wine. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Ow.